Once again, I'm excited to return with Evernote. Today's video is a compilation of 15 of the top ways you can use the new Evernote. All the clippings I have used are from the Evernote YouTube channel and a huge thanks to them. The new Evernote has brought plenty of promise and they are still working diligently in bringing more features in the coming months. So the intent of creating this video is to compile the most useful tips instead of looking at them individually on Evernote's channel. So let's get into this right away and feel free to subscribe to my channel if you are new here. Let's start with how to enable the dark mode. Go to view in the menu bar on the top and select dark mode or select the light mode to switch it back. It's really easy. Let's understand the new insert menu. Use the plus icon on top left corner and create a table first. You have the option to color code in the table boxes and many other options are available within the menu. You can even create a divider or a straight line by selecting the option from the menu bar at the top. All of your attachments can be placed within a note. You can have it as an inline or just as an attachment. It's really simple to attach a picture of your loved ones or the project you are working on. Create your checklist for the items you wish to remember. It's a great addition. And finally, you have the functionality to start sketching your doodles or text and save it to your note. Third step is to organize notes using notebooks. Click the notebooks on the left menu and use the new notebook button on the top right corner. Start naming your notebook like this. Also delete your notebook easily from the three dots menu if you do not require it. Now let's understand the difference between the checkboxes and checklists. Checkboxes are useful while we are creating our daily habits or any recurring tasks. Use the insert button on top right and select the checkbox and start creating or writing your habits. A great tool to maintain your habit tracker. Checklists are for your to-dos and managing your tasks like this. Once created, you can move your tasks to prioritize them or even give it a sequence. And once you check them off, you get a visual indication of the same. Setting up reminders is a great feature. So let's see this. Once you're within a note, use the bell icon down below and set up your reminder for the note with a date as well as time. You can see all your reminders here with all the details. To edit a reminder, once again, go all the way down like this and edit it with a new date and time or check it off if completed or even delete your reminder. Next one is to learn to email a copy of the note. Use the share button, a dialog box opens, enter the required email, subject and message and send it, it's easy. Check out here that the email we have received is clear, crisp, and does not lose any formatting. Creating note links is extremely useful and can be used for work and home projects. Once again, use the chevron on the top right. Click on copy internal link and use the same link to paste it in your scheduled trips. Try formatting your text and test this link and it will take you to the source note. Creating table of contents is always useful as you are writing a journal or a book. Select multiple notes, right click and select the option copy app links. Go back to your table of contents note and paste it. Now once you use the meeting note link, it will take you to the corresponding page. Let's talk about the Evernote Web Clipper which is available for all popular browsers. Let's say I need to save this article. I can save it as a simplified article, giving it a clean look or as an original article. I can also clip it as a full page or a bookmark or even take a screenshot of the web page and it works very seamlessly. Once we are done, I log in into my Evernote account and can view all the clips in different formats like this.
This is a new feature and is becoming very popular amongst the Evernote users. Copy a video link, for instance, create a new note and paste it in the body of the note. Now there are multiple options that you have to view the rich content in multiple sizes, like this and then again like this. Go to help and click on global shortcuts. Use the chevron or the three dots to edit the shortcut. Use the key combo on your keyboard and customize your shortcut as per your liking. You can also disable and or go to default shortcut anytime. For encrypting the text within a note, you have the option of encrypting your sensitive information within each note. The way you do it is to select the text and then use encrypt selected text. Choose a password, enter it again, include a hint and you are all set. You will have to enter this password to reveal the text. You do have the option to delete the encryption permanently also. Once you start clipping anything from the web, use the share button, enter the email ID and description and send the clip details as an email. Another option is that you can copy the link to the clipboard and paste the link to the email you want to send or anywhere. Let's see how to discover the search filters. Using the search filters is a great productivity tip. Use the filter icon after performing a search and select from multiple options like tags, notebooks, creation date, note type, like checkboxes and so on. You have the option to clear all the filters on top right of the dialog box. And lastly, let's take a peek into the search and save functionality. As you are making your search, you also have the option to save your search and also create a shortcut to get a faster access of all the notes within this search. Another great productivity tip by Evernote. So folks, that's all for today and thank you all so much for watching it. Let us know how you feel about these Evernote tips. Leave your comments in the description section below. And also let me know what's your favorite feature in Evernote. And also, which additional feature would you like to have it in future? And finally, a big shout out to my patron supporters that help videos like this possible. If you like the video, make sure you press that like button. Hit subscribe if you are new to Next Gen Digital and I will see you guys next Thursday. Have a productive week.